Okay, uh, quick start for Civil Bay uh, Concrete Anchorage design. Uh, after you uh, place your order, you will receive an email from me. i uh, give you a link of this uh, quick start guide, new user, and uh, also uh, your username and login password. Okay, so first of all you need a web browser we use uh, microsoft edge all right so that's a built-in web browser in windows just uh, use that one uh, next uh, uh click on the link in your email receive from me uh, there will be a new users okay uh new users uh give you uh it will direct you to this page uh, next um for concrete anchorage uh there's a user menu here okay online user menu you pretty much will find all the answers through this link all right so uh, just click on my uh, user menu here okay and the uh, next uh, to start the program okay uh you click here to start the program okay you click here one time only, only one time, okay? Uh, that will uh, set you to the Anchorage uh, setting. And then click on Start Program, okay? Maximize it, okay? And the, uh, you, you will find these, uh, these pull-up themes. Uh, that's two tip. I turn it off, okay? You can turn it on back later on, anytime you need the uh, hints on how to use that. Okay, so uh, we that's the uh, sketch you get. This interface we have two modules. One is concrete anchorage. Okay, go to general tab, concrete anchorage. The other one is steel connection. So if you get this uh, sketch which is steel connections you just go to general tab and uh, change to uh, concrete anchorage okay so you are concrete anchorage user right so make sure uh, that's the sketch you get otherwise go to general tab and switch it back to concrete anchorage okay so uh, then in your email you have the login username and password assigned by me. Okay. Uh, so, okay. I, I log out uh, because I already log in. Okay. I just uh, show you how to log in for your case. Once uh, you, you uh, get here, uh, you will get user guest and in demo mode. Okay. So, in the email, you get uh, your username and password from me, okay? Okay, 30, 31. So, just log in, okay? Use that username and password given by me. you find here user change to username and it's under register user, license activated, okay? So, if you are not happy with the username and password assigned by me, you can go to uh, online user menu. Here is a link called how to change my login username and password. Okay, just follow this one. Okay, step by step. Okay, let me see. Okay, next step. After you log in, make sure it's a registered user, license activated, okay? First step, you want to use program to go to setting, choose your design code, okay? So, for, uh, we have three code, uh, ACI 318 metric, Imperial metric, and Canadian 823.3 nighting, uh, okay? They are all 2019 code. Well, here we stay with uh, Imperial, and the design unit is kit. It's Imperial, okay? That, that that's Imperial. That's it. And display decimal. 
like uh, this one is 0 0.001. That means the the, the dimension uh, two inch show as 2.000. Okay, you can choose uh, two digit decimal. Two decimal. It will show as 2.00. Okay, and uh, you can go to fraction as well. Let's say uh, fraction. Uh, go to uh, side view. Yeah, there's some fraction here. Okay, three, four, and three quarter. Uh, if go to zero zero one, it's uh, four point seven two five. Okay, so I go to uh, sixteen uh, because we have three quarter, which is closest one. Go to one sixteen. Okay. It's four and three quarter. Uh, let's do it this way. Okay. Uh, let's say uh, this sixteen. Uh, we have uh, sixteen point one two five. Uh, no, three seven five. Okay. Update. So here, uh, both spacing is uh, sixteen three eight. If you go to uh, 0 0.001, it's 16.375, all right? So that, that's your sketch display precision. That's your design unit, okay? And that's your code. Uh, after that, you click on OK. Uh, you are set, okay? So we have uh, uh, design code here design code to show you okay and display unit and display precision let's say I want to go to metric okay you see here it's all all inch and uh, imperial we we'll go to metric and uh, it automatically uh, point you to metric unit display unit as decimal one okay so that's uh, 416, okay, 416. So if we want to uh, change to point 0.1, that's in, uh, metric. Point 0.1, it's 416.0. 416.0, all right? So that's uh, design code, this, uh, design unit, and display uh, precision. So we change back everything. Uh, we go for ACI 31819 in period and this precision to be 0 0.001. Okay. Okay, next uh, is uh, interface. Okay, so basically, uh, uh, let's sketch area. Uh, let's uh, tap uh, for Anchorage. You normally uh, uh, setting. We already show you set the code uh, design unit. And general, pretty much you only uh, use it uh, one or two times. Uh, one uh, when you want to change the uh, uh, company name and project name, uh, you change it here. Okay, we we have uh, we have. Uh, we have a tutorial on how to do it. Okay, how to change company name. Where is it? Okay, okay. How to uh, uh, add a company name, project name in the calculation report title. Okay, you you have YouTube tutorial here, and also the connection ID, and uh, you change to steel connection or concrete anchorage. Uh, for you, you are concrete anchorage. So stay with that. That's for general anchorage is where you uh, where you uh, put your all your anchorage uh, input. Every all anchorage uh, input parameter is input through this tab. Okay. So basically, uh, this is the main switch for you to. Uh, uh, we have uh, we're off this guy. Okay. Two tip. Uh, that's the main switch, the first one. 
for you to switch uh, between uh, different tab for all the Anchorage input here, okay? Sherlock and uh, so we have a tutorial here, okay? Show you how to do that, okay? So uh, uh, we have tutorial here, okay? So uh, again, you can go to here and click on this tutorial, okay, to see how it works. It's a main switch. And the uh, dimension. So, this main switch control all these input for you to input the uh, design parameters. And that, this sketch view, uh, this plan view, it just switch uh, different view of the sketch, okay. So, uh, side view and low view, low view, and uh, for you to input the load. So, top view, we go back to top view, okay. So, and the, uh, this one is status area, show you the license status and uh, uh, the design sum summary and the, the ratios and the, all the quick link here and uh, that one is a save a file save a design file lower design file uh, update okay updates uh, how to say and um, lower design file again go to online user menu uh, here how to say and load design file okay we show you step by step update so you know uh, we have uh, we can have uh, Multiple input, 16, 16, okay. And uh, when we finish all these input, uh, uh, five, six, okay. When we finish all the input, we click on update button, okay. They, they, they will get update uh, in one shot because uh, we don't want to, uh, the, the page get refreshed every time we key input. That is time consuming. So, uh, for update button is just for uh, some uh, many fields um, when you finish uh, uh, update uh, input value it won't refresh the page okay so you hit update button to implement the change uh, but some uh, some input it will get automatically refresh let's say uh, uh, 14 no let's say uh, 5. Yeah, like this one, you will get uh, automatic refresh, okay, four, okay, and uh, many of the arrows, okay, 16, 17, it won't refresh unless you hit update button, okay, and uh, logging, logout, so we already show you uh, uh, user logging and logout, okay, and uh, also, this brown field is suggest value. Um, it is 16, let's say uh, 15, okay? 15, 6, okay, update. These are uh, suggest value. Uh, we, we grab this value from uh, uh, many uh, standard drawing. When you uh, have a column size, uh, normally uh, we call it like, like base plates. In a standard drawing, when you have some uh, range or column size, you normally go for uh, anchor spacing, anchor bolt spacing uh, for whatever value. Okay, that's based on experience. We provide situation for you in this brown field, and you can just uh, see that one. You copy as uh, type sixteen here, okay, and update. And uh, you can also uh, copy everything from right to left by uh, click on this uh, no, uh, you copy one more time okay, now everything copy in one shot so normally what I do is uh, I, I make a copy when I switch the column size section I make a copy to start with that from there, okay so you can do, you are free to do your own uh, uh, value but uh, it's a just starting point um, just copy and that's a starting point for everything, okay? Then change from there. Interface, okay. So that's that's Anchorage tab. 
And uh, design calc, that's a uh, design calc, your calculation report, okay? Uh, let's, uh, okay, I'm for it, okay? Then we can click on sketch tab and show the sketch. And also anchor boat design, okay? And the uh, anchor boat design, okay? So uh, we can expand all, okay? And expand all the calculation in detail, collapse all. Everything corrupts, okay. And track sketch, okay. It, and we can uh, unfold, uh, expand uh, one single item here, okay. And that, that's these two buttons. Um, these uh, tab control which content want to show. And uh, we, we hit the print buttons uh, and we'll start open a new window. And uh, Normally, uh, if you use a uh, dual screen, okay, you can move this one uh, to another screen and check against the uh, sketch, something like that, okay? That's what I did. Uh, I think uh, nowadays uh, most users uh, have dual screen, okay? So, and again, you uh, repeat one more time. And uh, you, you select uh, which content to show, and uh, you expand which content to show, you expand one item, uh, you also can expand all items, and then um, you hit the print button, okay, and you move these uh, pull up, uh, where, where is it, you move these, uh, you move these uh, uh, pull up uh, windows to another screen, and then check against the uh, Check against this sketch, okay? So that that's why I did, and also uh, print, okay? Print, and by this one you you can print the calculation, okay? And I will show you. Uh, you can print the calculation. The detail how to do it. The detail is uh, and the. Uh, Use a menu. How to print a calculation? Where is it? How to print a calculation report? Okay, it will show you how step by step. Okay, so uh, let's interface. Give me a second. Let me see. Where else? Interface. Main switch. Different panel. Okay, so uh, this this is the main switch. You switch different uh, input panel, and you can check uh, the tutorial here. Okay, and to uh, to 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 know how to use it. Okay, user input and update update already show you. Highlight text, okay, okay. I'll, I'll talk about highlight text. So, uh, look at this, okay. Look at this. Sixteen. And uh, when we uh, when I move to S two, uh, sixteen, it get highlight in yellow, and they uh, like uh, two point zero zero eight. That's uh, uh no, that's a uh, base plate. Like uh, four point five. Okay, C one. See here, four point five. So, <coughs> excuse me. So basically, uh, uh, we move uh, this tag, uh, move this mouse over these fields uh, corresponding uh, 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 value on the sketch will get highlighted in yellow. Okay, that, that, that's a good way uh, uh, you you know you link uh, the input field to the sketch. Okay, say so like uh, embedment depth twelve. Okay, look at this guy. Okay, now I move to embedment depth. It gets highlighted. Okay, and this one. 15, okay, HA, it get highlighted. So that's a uh, uh, highlight text, okay. How to use two tip, okay. Next, how to use two tip. So you know, um, uh, we have uh, this question mark, uh, it's two tip here. The same content, okay, same content. Uh, if you own the two tip, you will, you will find the same content here. Okay, same content here. Close it. Okay, close it. So that's two tip. Uh, but uh, 
if you put it on every time you move it's annoying okay so once you you know what's going on you turn it off okay but uh, this one you may turn it off uh, this question mark anytime you can assess it okay so um, th that's two tip tend to the on and off suggest value I already told you okay the brown field this suggest value what to suggest how to save and get creation report how to view calculation report I already told you okay I, I, I just want a quick to run how to get calculation report how to arrange calculation I already show you and okay. get how to arrange the calculation report and uh, we, we, we have uh, expand collapse we, we have uh, we have uh, how, how to arrange okay show this one how to arrange calculation summary uh, in, in, in the format you want so uh, go to uh, online menu you will get this one okay you will get this one how to add company name um, project name okay company name and project name so that, that's a calculation report you need a title block okay company name project name connection ID or whatever so online menu and uh, step by step uh, where is that? It, it will show you how to add the company name and project name okay it will show you on this tutorial monday.com work docs uh, that's is a new ads. kind of doc Why this? you don't just write One, two, with three. it you create uh, entire skip ads okay no thanks sorry and, uh, okay let's show you, you uh, uh, how, how to add the company names Let's go to this ad okay and uh, how to print calculation again online menu how to print calculation okay it will show you step up. There's also a tutorial here. There's also a tutorial here how to print calculation, right? You to uh, how to add project, how to print, how to save a low file, okay? Uh, okay? Again, online menu, how to save low file, save your input and load your in, uh, previous design file for the next project. When I get the error message, okay, uh, there might be some bug in this program. Okay, uh, if you get the error message like similar to this one, where, where is it? Okay, when you got the error message uh, similar to this one, uh, follow the step by step, okay, and contact me. I, I will fix the problem for you. Okay, I think. Uh, that's it. So that that's a quick start. Mm. Uh, quick start uh, for you to begin with. Okay, and the anytime we have uh, YouTube tutorial here. Okay, uh, we are going to expand this one. We add more links uh, like how to design circular plate anchor, circular pattern anchor bolt, how to design shear key. Uh, how to uh, use anchor reinforcement, how to design the post uh, install anchor like heel T, uh, anchors. We are going to add more link here. So check this out, okay? YouTube tutorial and uh, check this out, okay? There will be more to be added under this, okay? So online menu we already addressed uh, many times. You, you are welcome to buy uh, uh, more license, okay? buy more license and check license status okay uh, the we, we have uh, everything about licensing okay everything about licensing here and you find uh, you cannot get a license you check license states okay and it will show you the license detail what module you have okay and uh, if you cannot get a license, you click this link one more time. Probably you will check and to see if you get a license or not. So always click this uh, this button, and uh, that's it.